Hello and welcome to Tiny Code Christmas Day 3. 12 days of demo scene size coding effects for fantasy consoles. If you've just joined us, don't forget to check out Day 1 and the Tiny Code Christmas website. We're going to start with Tick 80, so if you're here for Pico 8, you can skip ahead. So today we're going to talk about per pixel effects, and this is an effect that touches every single pixel on the screen in order to assign it a color. And the first, um, I want to call it effect, but the first experience we have with a per pixel effect is the clear screen function in Tick80, where it visits every single pixel on the screen and turns it to the color we specify. So in this case, red. So we're going to start off by implementing our own clear screen for Tick80. And then from there, we're going to expand it a bit with some other basic effects using the same kind of structure. I'm going to iterate over every pixel on the screen. So I'm going to go from zero to 135. There is 136 pixels of height, but that's from zero to 135. And then I'm going to iterate over every horizontal pixel, and that's 0 to 2, 3, 9. Now, sometimes when you see code, you'll see people go from 0 to 136 or 0 to 240 in size coding, and sometimes that can be more beneficial when we're talking about the compressed file size at the end, depending on what other bits and pieces you already have inside of your code. So I'm going to use the picks function. I'm going to set pick x, y to the um, color 2. And when we run this now, we have effectively implemented clear screen. So that is a basic setup that will allow us to do a bunch of different effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the current pixel the x value. And now we can see that where x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we're working with color, in tick 80 you can just specify any number and it will wrap around so you don't have to worry that the number is between 0 and 15 it'll take care of it for you and if i change it to y we can see that now i have horizontal stripes and maybe i can do some more stuff here like if i add x and y i'll get diagonal stripes and maybe if i subtract x and y um, i'll get them going the other direction so some of the other things that we can do are we can use and, ors, and exclusive ors. So these are three types of operators that operate on the binary level. And we'll start off with or. So you see, when we or the two of these together, we get this type of a pattern. When we and them together, we get this type of a pattern. And when we exclusive or them together, and that's the tilde character, we get this type of a pattern. So we don't really need to know what and or an exclusive or do at this point, other than that when we use them to combine x and y, that they'll do so in different patterns. And we can take this pattern further and we can mod it by three, and you'll see that now the colors are limited to zero, one, and two. And I might change this to end, and you'll see we get this kind of a triangular pattern. And I'll try it with or, and you'll see you get something similar. So there's a lot of different things that you can do here to try, and you can set gradients. So if you want to only have half of the colors, you can mod it by eight. And that is the basics of a full screen per pixel effect in Tick80. So your challenge is to pick a nice one, mess around with the X and the Y, the colors, the operators that you're going to use, the value that you might mod the colors by to decrease the number of colors in the effect. And of course, it's to add animation. So we're already at 81 characters. The challenge for today is to add animation at a full screen effect in less than 128 characters. Best of luck, and don't forget to check the website for expert challenges.
So today we're going to be talking about full screen per pixel effects in Pico 8 and one of the first effects that we've already seen really is clear screen. Clear screen visits every pixel on the screen and sets it to a specific color. So we're going to start by implementing our own clear screen. So I'm going to start off by visiting every vertical pixel and then every horizontal pixel and then I'm going to set the color of that to 2. And now we've implemented our own clear screen and what this is doing is it's visiting every y first so y equal to 0 and then with that y equal to 0 it's visiting x equal to 0 to 127 so this goes um, 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 all the way up to 127 for x then it will increment y so it'll be 0 1 1 1 2 1 and so on and it'll effectively paint the screen in lines going from left to right from top to bottom so now what we can do is we can set the pixel to a different value so in this case I'm going to set it to X so what this is going to do is it's going to set the horizontal position of as the color so you can see that gives us this nice stripe effect and if I change this to Y then I get the same but going horizontally and there's some other bits and pieces that we can do we can maybe add them together to get a diagonal effect we can subtract them to get that effect but going in the opposite direction and there's also these binary operators that we can use and you can take a look at the Lua documentation for them but basically they are similar to plus and minus in that they'll operate on the values and they will give us a value back so I'm going to end X and Y first and when you run it you get this um, lovely and effect and this is an, an and pattern I can change it to or as well and you can see a reasonably similar type of pattern and I can change it to exclusive or and that's the tilde character so before I go any further I just want to talk about the paddle function that Pico 8 has. So the paddle function allows me to rearrange the palette. So it won't let me change the colors, but it'll let me reorder the number in which I refer to them by. So for example, if I was to take colors 7, um, 10, 9, 8, 2, and 0, and put them in order. So 7, 10, 9, 8, eight two zero and parameter one here I can now change so that this will give me that gradient that I specified so if I run this code you'll see it kind of does it I'll change it back to X so you can see when I run it I get the normal code as soon as I hit escape it reverts back to the normal colors so you can see that that's working but what I want to do is I'm just going to mod this by six because I only have six colors arranged in that gradient so now you can see that I get a nice stripe effect and I can do X plus Y and it's important that when we're using the um, modulus that's division so if we don't have brackets around our X plus Y the modulus will divide just the Y and then add the X to it so we just need to make sure that we do that in any instance where we're using modulus and we'll take a look at some of the ends again the R again and the exclusive R again so some very nice patterns there your challenge is to animate this a full screen per pixel effect using any of these operators or a combination of them and to do it in 128 characters or less. Don't forget to check out the website for some expert challenges. Best of luck. And don't forget to come back tomorrow for the next challenge.